Hi, my name is Jensen from Count9, and this is my basic champion guide to Twisted Fate. So TF in solo queue is a pretty good pick. Um, he takes a while to learn, but it's a really strong pick if you know how to master him, because he generally like generates a lot of pressure on the entire map just because of the ultimate. So whenever you go missing, it pressures the sight lanes, which is a good thing to do. So there's a lot of ways you can like avoid losing hard matchups, which is something TF has a lot of, but TF is in general like just a good pick overall, because he pressures the side map. His laning phase is pretty decent. He's good at setting up ganks. He's good um, if you're working well with your jungler together to either like kill mid or like pressure side lanes. Typically, you want to look to like get an advantage mid lane through help with your jungler and then snowball it onto the side lanes and just pressure the entire map. TF's early laning phase is decent depending on the matchup a lot because there's a lot of matchups where it's really bad and then there's other where you can actually like win the lane. So just want to like Try to stay back and farm creeps as well as you can. Give up a few CS depending on the matchup. You're gonna have to give up a few CS. And once you get ahead, like you should try to get your jungler to like help you out early on if possible. If you're against like a hard matchup. And yeah, when you get ahead, just try to like look to pressure your advantage towards the side lane. Even though in most cases TF is not the strongest one you want, um, you can still look to pressure the open and out easily if you run like ignite like I typically do. You just have to always um, try to trade when your E proc is up, like run in, stun card him, and then Q him when your E proc is up, or whenever he goes for CS, try to punish him, depending on the champion, of course. Um, yeah, TF is typically not known for his strong when you're on, but you can easily like take advantage if you're playing it well. So split pushing with TF, there's a lot of different ways you can approach how you want to go to a lane. For example, if you have a big wave on a side lane and you're really strong, you can actually look to run to that lane from base or whatever and look to kill the guy who's going for the big wave. It typically like an, an AD carry because you're in most cases going to be stronger than him because um, you're an AP carry versus an AD carry. And that, that's one way to approach the split pushing. Another thing is if you have a big wave on a side lane that you want to go get, you can just go there, push it out. It will typically force one of the guys to come down bottom. And that's when you look to like leave the lane and teleport mid lane or something and go for a kill. You can usually like teleport into four people with TF if you have a Sonya, so it should be fine as well to do that, like initiate a fight that way. With team fighting on TF, there's different ways to approach the team fighting. If you if you have an fate eighty carry, you can always just look to peel for him and stun card the front line. Um, I typically like to be more aggressive though and try to ulti in or like from the side and pressure the enemy um, backline as well. It really depends on like how the scenario plays out, but you have a lot of burst and once you get your Sonya, you can easily look to like TP in and chunk the enemy eighty carry, then like go into a Sonya and then flash out. But yeah. There's, there's different ways of playing TF. He's a very flexible champion. So for runes on TF, I go Magic Pin in Mox and Scaling Health in Seals. And for Glyphs, there's a few options you can go. You can either go Magic Resist or Cooldown Reduction. Uh, I feel like Cooldown Reduction is pretty good, but it's also kind of um, not necessary. Because with TF, you just want to make sure that you don't lose lane too hard and you're still able to pressure the map. As long as you do good ultimates, you really don't need the CDR. Um, and if you're against like a burst lane, then taking Magic Resist is helpful. And then for the Quince, I go free movement speed Quince. So you typically want to go movement speed on TF, but you can also go AP Quince. Movement speed is really good because you can pressure the map a lot. You can easier get to the side lanes with your ultimate. And also if you just want to like split push or something, it helps you get to the lane quicker. So it's generally better to have movement speed Quince. Though keep in mind, your laning phase will be a bit weaker early on. And for masteries, I go 12, 18, 0 usually. You can also go um, 0, 18 and then 12, which is... Maybe a bit safer for lane, but this is also pretty good because TF is a pretty strong duelist like 2v2. So like if you play with a jungler, you can easily look to play around mid and like kill the enemy mid laner or just look to fight 2v2 because you have a strong and TF's burst is actually pretty decent for winning 2v2 fights and so on. So I, I typically want to go 12, 18, 0. Everything is pretty standard here. Um, I go for the cookie instead of the assassin mastery though because on TF your goal isn't really to win your lane. It's just go even or try to survive and press your sight lanes. For skill order and TF, I always take W level 1. Then depending on how the lane is, I would either take Q or E. In most cases I take E, but if it's versus someone that is really strong early on, like a LeBlanc maybe, I will take Q in some cases just to like try to last hit. But usually I take E, then I max the Q after that. 
But TF, there's a lot of different item builds you can go. I know a lot of people like to go Rod of Ages first on TF, which is pretty safe to do. That's what most people do. Um, the reason I don't do it personally a lot is because Rod of Ages stats offer you like health and mana. And the item is very cost efficient itself, so it's, it's a pretty good item, but I don't like it because it gives... A lot of health and mana, which you don't need, and other items just offer you a lot more stats, I feel like, to TF, which is what you want. So, if I'm against, like, a burst champion like LeBlanc, I'll go Abyssal, into, like, Lich Bane, into, like, Sonya, then Void Staff Rabadon, typically. And if I have a pretty easy lane, I'll typically just go Lich Bane, into Sonya, into Void Staff, to Rabadon, and then into, like, Ludens, maybe, or something. And I always go, go CDR Boots and TF. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lolclass.com.